there, Itru here. Today we're going to be starting off a bit of a playthrough of the Arctic campaign. We're going to be going through all of the campaign missions, exploring to different islands and going out to the gas peninsulas. This is going to be a very natural playthrough. It's recorded from my max difficulty no traders playthrough that I stream on Twitch and we'll be breaking this down into 30 minute breaks. So let's get straight into this. So if we have a look We've done the main expedition and we've arrived at the Arctic. And we haven't explored anything. So what you can do if you are out here for the very first time is if you want to figure out where you're actually going to on the islands, if you hold down the mouse scroll wheel, you can lower the angle down and you can actually begin to see the silhouettes of where the actual islands are. So if you are in a bit of a rush to go find exactly where the islands are rather than just randomly sailing out with your ships to find where the islands are if you lower the angle down you'll be able to utilize the uh, silhouette of the islands so first things first let's go and start exploring and seeing what islands we actually have we'll have a breakdown of how good these islands are so let's go down this way is there anything here looks like there's an island that way And so with this playthrough, we are going to be uh, going back into between the other islands as well. Because we're going to be trying to maintain the uh, other maps while we're containing this. And yep, this is a fantastic tiny little island because of max difficulties. Let's head that way. So we have whale and seal abundance on a tiny little shoreline. Where about this much is going to be taken the harbour leaving that for seals which is pretty awful next island okay let's have a look there's another island over there we can see the silhouette this island's a bit more space on it so it's not looking too bad and we actually have fur abundance we have caribou and we have whale abundance so we can do whale oil again so this won't be too bad for a storage and provision island over here if you were struggling on furs which you shouldn't be with docklands uh, you could actually start getting them from that island with this playthrough we are going to be utilizing and testing and seeing out how it works with the land of lions and docklands dlc is that really that coastline there okay, luckily there's another one up here but still that is an awful island Oh, that's the thing. Uh, no mines, one gold mine. And remember, the gold mines out here are deep rust ones, so they are actually at a higher rate of extraction. So this one is another starter island, basically, as the starting materials. And it's not ideal because it's a decent size. So I was hoping it would have some actual resources we can utilize. Of a virtuoso. Okay, let's go have a look at this. Then, once we figured out what islands we actually have, then we can decide on where we're going to actually utilize them. Now, with the bonus with the Land of Lions DLC, we actually have the ability to change the fertility on an island. So this island is one of the ice peninsulas where they have the gas. It's a nice one here. Everything's nicely tightly clustered together so you could have a nice housing here and then all the gas over here. That's not too bad. Uh, it looks like there's another island here actually. Hi. Yep, there is. See, would have missed that until like, we lower the angle down. And this one had seal and bear abundance. Seal, again, we have the same problem of tiny shorelines. We might be able to get two seals down there. So let's have a look. There's another the ice cap over here. We have all the nice seals over here. Can we migrate you over to the other islands, please? 
Build up an abundance of high population of seals, please. See, that's another nicely compacted one for the gas. You'll find the gas islands are always the same on each playthrough. I don't think that is going to be a habitable island, but it's good to unlock all the icebergs out here, especially if you plan on doing the deep sea diving missions from the uh, Cape DLC, the Sunken Treasures DLC. Because the problem with the Sunken Treasures DLC out here is the fact that it's not just the islands that will show up on the treasure maps. It is these tiny little icebergs that could be the location marker. Okay, so we've got another island there that is seals and furs. Oh, my God. Game, you are not spoiling me here. And up in the top corner here is going to be the permanently fog of ward area. More on that later. Yeah, this is the big ice shelf. So let's have a look. So we've unlocked most of the islands over here by the looks of it. There is never anything up in these corners here for islands. So we're just left with the islands down here. So let's have a look. Something here and something here. We have... And there's the one more for gas. We have really looked at bad on the, the people islands over here. Yes, we are condition. playing on max difficulty, but still. Even on this setting, this island set is pretty awful. And a tiny little island with a tiny shoreline with seals. Good, good. Just what we need. Okay, let's just unlock that. That should, in theory, be the fourth and last gas island. Yep, there we go. Now she sees. Well, they're all high, so you can't actually get on top of them with a cargo ship. You'll have to get access to these with dun 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 the airships. Uh, I don't think there's anything there. That's just a set of icebergs by the looks of it. So this is the last island, and it's a decent size, with a decent shoreline on it. So we are probably going to have to repurpose this island for seal furs. So let's have a look. Where's my ship? It doesn't look like there is anything else to unlock. Adjusting the background music. Fortunately, we can't really play Anno music because of the YMC. Sorry, DMCA. So yeah, that seems to be all of the islands taken into the actual view. There's nothing else down there. Okay, so. We've got everything unlocked. So first thing to remind up for everyone here for the first time is if you have imports coming in from other islands or exporting to other islands, they'll always leave from either one particular edge of the map or the other. Anything that is entering or leaving from the new world will be entering or leaving from this edge of the map down here, the southwesterly. And anything from the Old World Cape and Mbessa will be entering and leaving from the southeastern edge of the map. So anywhere along here, and you can change when you set up your trade routes on which section of this edge it enters and leaves from if you like. So let's have a look at the actual island. 
this island is always the same it's all the other islands down here that are randomized there's nothing else here I'm just paranoid that i've missed an island no 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 unfortunately not maybe it's not paranoia maybe it's just hope that there's a miracle island just sat out there unfortunately not okay so the first just thing when we arrive we'll rake over the remains and then make a refuge for ourselves go through the dead people's living stuff okay nice lady faithful lovely let's go salvage Just seems to be one. Can only do one at a time. No, it's letting me do both now. Not sure why it didn't let me do that in the first place. Okay, so pick up Sir John. Alright, let's just drop these items off very quickly. Let's pick those items up. They've gone in here. First, get all you faithful some shelter and a canteen where they can warm each other up. Okay, cheers night. Uh, maybe we turn their volume of voices up a little bit. I yeah, John's fine. log. Open it. He knew we would come for him. If HMS Hades and Styx came this way, mm -hmm. the Inuit must have seen them. Maybe they can help us. Yeah, okay. So we made camp on King William Island. It shall be shelter for us for the winter. But a group of Inuit to the northwest. So Inuit are to the northwest. They were reluctant at first, the but later approached us to trade with, for iron. They offered us dead seals, which of course we civilly declined. Having enough fun canned food for aboard Sticks and Hades to last a lifetime. More on that later. But instead, they may know the route to the northwest passage. The Inuit led us into a channel heading deeper into the ice. Inuit looked worried, we but our instruments put freezing is thinning by the day. Time for our I mighty icebreakers to prove their prowess. Soon we shall be the first to cut the miracle shipping canal bridging east and west. We set out tomorrow. And that is it. So now we need to go find the Inuit, which in. should be in the northwest over here. So we will send the ship in the northwest. And while that is doing that, we have a quest for Nate. So we need to start putting down the shelters. Now, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we've got shoreline here. We might have our separation line going across here. Now, if you haven't been to the arctic before as you can tell it's snowy so everything is white with an off shade of white and all the grounding areas for area of effect are a off shade of white the roads are white the buildings are white so if you find it a bit hard to see make sure you go into the day cycle and you can always set it to night if you want Add a little bit of contrast, or you can set it to dusk, or set it to naturally progress through the natural time cycle. See, that one there is even harder to see the uh, roads here. This is an exception. Cheers. A Thanks. shaman must help those in need. We will share what we know. Okay. I feared you would come. I will show you where those men went. I Okay, so the Inuits we found up in this corner here. Found something? Yes. Oh, yeah, so we're actually going to go and follow the Inuits. We'll set those to go on to patrol. We'll slow the game time down a little bit. And we'll head back to here and we will... Let's leave it at normal daytime. Let's have a look at building some housing down here. So can we actually build houses here? We can. Okay. How about a cup of coffee? You've been playing for two hours. Thanks, Dad. And the reason why I'm leaving a bit of space down here is so we can milestone. have the 
whale hunting down here later on. And then we at least have a bit of space here that we can work around with. Normally I tend to do the housing directly first off straight along here and then later on I decide, oh, it's a bit too close to the shoreline. This might be a bit too far up, but we'll see. So we're going to need a canteen and we are going through the wood and we have some steel left over. So let's get in the canteen, which is awkwardly not a three by two. Not going to fit into my standardized templates. Is it? Yes, it does. Don't mind me. I'm just completely losing the plot. Enough to freeze the balls off a brass monkey. Oh, now, with the, the yes. with the Arctic, you can't manipulate the people out here using propaganda from the newspaper as it's too far out. The paper boy can't swim that far. And we cannot do working conditions out here either. So, we have the houses down, we have our people down and their requirements are the canteen which we've got which is the equivalent of the marketplace and they need pemmican and they are also going to need oil lamps now they don't have the happiness mechanic over here they actually have the heating mechanic so as you can see they have low heat so if we click on here we have the thermometer of the grading here and depending on uh, how much of the requirements is going to fill up this and reduce the chances of the people getting ill with the flu which is the equivalent of getting ill except it's much usually harder to control not much but it usually is especially because you'll be having your ranger stations which combine as police and hospitals all combined together trying to do two jobs in one so we need heaters, they're also going to need sleeping bags and schnapps. Schnapps we can start bringing over, that's not a problem. Oil lamps How is not they? something we can Our do at the moment. Has arrived. So we're going to need to put down a heater to get these people warmed up. You can think of the heater as an equivalent of a power station. But instead of providing power, it provides heat. Let's just draw that line across there. And the range on it is quite short. And so let's just do a road there. Because we're going to have to have the majority of our housing and production buildings need to have access to heat as well. So let's put the heat down. Hmm, that heater isn't going to cover all the way down there, which is a bit of a shame. Right, if I do that one there, I can put this one... Where does your range run to? Maybe there. Let's bring up housing into blueprint mode then. And let's see where the housing would naturally run to on a 3x2 block system. Okay, it runs to there. So if we do the road across here. Now we're right to there. Heating. Okay, we'll put the heater... And let's have a look. Yeah, that would be a fairly alright placement there. Does mean we lose those houses, but it is fine. Let's take it off blueprint mode. Okay, so let's get you in there, and then housing. Uh, there's one, two there. Let's just build those, because we are going to need some wood coming in shortly. We also need charcoal. Now, if we have a look at this, we can see... The charcoal kiln takes the way forward to the 10, is it explorers? Yeah, explorers is tier one. 
Tier two is technicians, I believe. The Hades and Sticks came this way. If it takes our last breath, we must find them. Okay, so this is the campaign. This is where the Inuit have led us. They've Here's led us something. on a merry little trip. It'll all the way around best here. Efforts to clear that frozen channel. And we've hit a dead end. There's impenetrable ice sheath here, shelf here. Conveniently, there's a flag here. Cargo boat at the ready. We okay. pick up our crumbs and prepare an especial ice breaching brigade. Begin the turn. Okay, so the next part of the campaign. There's no forgiving. We Never. need to provide pemmican. I need to maintain 80% coverage. Okay. It's not a problem. However, the first thing we need to have a look at is we are going to need to get in some wood and we're going to need to start bringing in some schnapps as well. So let's go over to the cape. Oh, do we actually go? Let's actually have a look over here. Yeah, we've got this ship here. I'm going to send the wood from here. As it is closer than it is in the Arctic. And the trick here is if you hold down shift, it will fill the uh, cargo ship's hold and unload all the items. If you want to fill everything with one item, you just hold down shift and it fills or unloads everything. So there's some wood going over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're going to need some coal. Oops, a daisy. Trade route from here. And let's grab some coal. Let's go to the Arctic. And we'll actually assign you to a new group. New trade route. We will do that. Old to Arctic. Should add the other one in, but we'll do that in a bit. What we're going to do now is go to the Cape, where we have an abundance of schnapples, and we're going to start moving over, holding down shift to fully load up some schnapps. So that should bring the schnapps over. That's going to offload it all. So we have. Some extra goods coming in. Don't need to worry about that for a bit. Let's press four. Let's go head over here again. So we are going to need some wood coming in. So let's have a look at that. We'll just get that up and running now. We are also going to need charcoal kilns. Charcoal kilns doesn't take any wood. However, we do need wood to set up the warehouses. Oh, this city is a magnet for genius. So we'll just build that here for a minute. Where didn't I build? Oh, construction materials missing. I need two wood. Oh. Okay, so I'm just going to build that there for a minute, and we'll get the Lumberjack Hut in. I've slightly messed up here, but it is fine. We'll adjust. Okay. So that should bring some wood coming in. And then we can start looking at getting in a charcoal kiln. And then I usually have my charcoal kilns working from up here. Because the bonus with the charcoal kilns is it doesn't require heat. And as in the wood and the furs, they will overlap and will work together. So you can actually overlap things like the, the caribou and the charcoal kilns.
planting forest. While we have a moment to downtown, let's welcome the pirates. Pirates are both fine. Don't need to worry about them. So yeah, what you'll find with the Arctic is you'll be struggling on fine balancing your productions and fulfilling people's needs and keeping on top of heating. And you're also going to be probably struggling. Oh, there's some wood that's just come in. Yeah, I probably need to set up some steel coming over actually at some point as well. Uh, let's just throw all that overboard. Uh, we will get this ship over here to drop these items off, or people off. And then we'll hold down shift, right click, right click, right click, right click, right click. And the ship goes, picks all of them up. So you don't have to do manual clicks between each of them. So we have an abundance of wood coming in now. Let's get the charcoal kiln up and running. So we're going to start the first one here and we'll have another one here the heat of them heaters don't travel far and most of your buildings will need heating and all yeah i know the the range of the heaters oh, is pretty abysmal nice on the ends. keep it stoked or we'll catch your diffs here yeah yeah you're still cold and you're still creepy night You go back to building those humanoid robots, mate, in the 1800s. Well, ask no questions apart from why do you have that child locked up in the sewer? If you haven't seen it, go to look on Nate's Island in the Cape and have a look around the island for a water outlet pipe. There might be something inside there. AKA, it's a child holding a balloon. Locked up inside of a uh, pipe. Pee pee! Okay, so that is the coal coming in. We have an abundance coming in through trade ships, so we should be fine for a good while. However, to unlock the next amount, we need explorers for the storage update. So we're going to continue expanding. You for upgrade. Let's build those last three houses. Pemmican unlocks at 100. Okay, not a problem. Let's get in some more houses. We we'll get you there, you there. I'm not going to build those there just yet. Mm -mm 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 for streets let's get that done to there you to there don't know if that heating is going to run it's not that's annoying um in that case we're going to delete you and we're going to have the road linking to there okay that gets heat to there yeah the range on these heaters is absolutely awful So, we've unlocked Pemmican, and the requirements for Pemmican is whaling stations for the whaling oil and caribou. Be warned, the whale oil for the whaling stations is a little bit brutal. Not for the uh, light-hearted, shall we say. So, that is going to be 30 for the Pemmican house, and 30... For the whaling station and 25 for the caribou. However, we're probably going to need even more, so let's just heating that is. Let's just put down a another charcoal kiln down here. Yes, I do have a load being imported in, but don't want to completely rely solely on just that. I'm actually going to send some ships over. Uh, let's send 
those three ships. Let's get you over here to pick up some actual materials. Fleet embarking. So uh, let's grab. Hmm, we're probably going to need steel out there. Uh, so you can grab steel. You can grab windows. You can grab some more steel. And you Alan. are going to grab... Hmm. Yeah, reinforced concrete. Because we're going to need that later on. Leadership. You might as well get that over now. So we're going to get you to the Arctic, to King William Island. And we're going to set, while we're oh, yeah, over we're here, we're going to set up a trade route from here to the Arctic. And the gas lamps that we're going to need out there are going to require brass. So shift click, unload everything. 